All right, so we are in Kay Cocker, and we uh, had our Kay Cocker lunch, traditional food. Um, some chicken, rice, plantains, very good. And a, you know, sweet Caribbean sauce. And they are very strict um, about mask. So, make sure I'm actively drinking while we're doing this session. Not because I want to drink Bellican or anything. Who would want to do that? By the way, I look forward to coming to Belize every time for this particular beer. It is fabulous. Um, but we're walking along the beachway here. And you can see a little bit of paradise all along here. Now, K. Cocker, I didn't explain, is about a 30 to 40 minute speedboat ride. Maybe not a speedboat, but a boat that can move you pretty fast. Um, and you get to this charming little sea village or whatever you want to call it. Okay, I'm videoing. Uh, yeah, I'm videoing. Thanks, man. Um, all right. Yeah, we just had some, but thank you. Uh, so yeah, that we're gonna. It's obviously with this being a, a tourism uh, area and, and cruising just coming back and tourism really getting going again. This isn't as busy as it normally would be. We had security going by, so <laughs> and a drink. Uh, but this this is normally really happen when you know pre-pandemic. You can see a lot of tourists here. And this is one of those hidden gems that not a lot of people know about. You see some people here enjoying some lunch and drinks all along this beautiful little beach community. I'll show you some of the storefronts. It's primarily golf carts. You do see some cars, but for the most part, this is a golf cart island. Beach scenery for you here. Yeah, um, as Clayton mentioned, if you watched the snorkeling video with the sharks and stingrays, uh, tourism is coming back. But as was pointed out, unfortunately, the only ship right now is the Carnival Vista visiting on Wednesdays. And sadly, he said that's really the only planned ship for the foreseeable future. So at least for the next few weeks, it appears only the Vista is going to be providing some extra tourism dollars for the people in the Belize and Kay Cocker here. And, um, seeing how quiet it is it's you know it's a little sad to be honest um, kind of feel the people's struggle here I know when we were in Roatan we had talked with the men if you haven't seen my interview with the men um, we he discussed that a lot and you know everybody's just so thankful that cruise ships are coming back and, and tourism is starting to come back but as with anything that's just coming back it's coming along slowly so it's uh it's a work in progress but the point is it is coming back so that's the good thing and you know what those of us that have had been blessed to be on a cruise already we know just how wonderful it is and how great it is to be back here Again, I like showing you some of the places that I enjoy going to. And there's a, I'm, I'm on, I'm on a video right now. I'll talk to you later. Uh, yeah, no, um, K Cocker, Belize Shark Ray Alley. Just, you saw, again, if you haven't already seen the video, click on Shark Ray Alley. I'm gonna have to put a couple, make a playlist for that because 
you know, I had a couple videos, and again, for whatever reason, the recording stopped underwater a couple times. I did still get some good, sh good footage of the sharks. There was one time, and of course, it was a time that I didn't have the video going, apparently, um, when I was literally right in the middle of all the sharks. They were swimming underneath me, even through my legs. The stingrays were rubbing up against me, and um, didn't get the... Uh, didn't get that footage, but still close enough. You saw the stingrays swimming around like crazy and the, the sharks, and it's just absolutely wonderful. Those of you that are afraid of sharks, you wouldn't be afraid of these. I mean, they pay no attention to you. They swim right by you. Um, I know the first time I did it, honestly, I was a little, a little intimidated, uh, you know, because they're sharks. And so you see the sharks and you're like oh boy um could those bite me and now nah, they don't you don't worry about it at all some of you have been to stingray city and grand cayman same thing there i was a little worried the first time i got into those stingrays and once you do it you know it's not a big deal and you can touch them and they'll pick them up and do all that other kind of stuff so it's really a cool experience so if you get the opportunity again be a little bit adventurous i have friends that say no way you'll never get me to do that well i gotta say you're missing out then because it is a beautiful experience that is so exhilarating love it every time i do it so if you're not somebody that's adventurous it's really not all that adventurous um, you might think it is, and you can say you swam with sharks, and that sounds cool, but you're never really in any danger whatsoever. So, don't worry about it. Hey. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm drinking here. I'll be right back. I'm, I'm going to need another one. <laughs> they're they're tired, saying about the bat and asking to get some more beer. So I'll be taking them up on that in a minute. Um, so anyway, I, like I really don't get the chance to walk the island too much when I'm here in Cape Cocker. So I wanted to take a few minutes to be able to walk you through and see some of the island as, as I'm walking. You can see, but it's a nice long strip. And we're heading towards what, what is called the split. And they had a big hurricane here. A while back not too long ago but it actually split the island so I was just asking one of our guides Clayton which is the more happening area I guess you could say on the island he said it would be up this way um, as you can see there's been some activity but not a lot it's pretty uh, pretty quiet not a lot of lot going on so People are des desperate for your tourism dollars. So you can have a wonderful time in paradise and at the same time be helping the community out with those dollars. So that's a reason for you to get out and cruise so you can help others. Hey, that's a way to do it. Get a lot out of giving back, right? So I can see um, the sign in front of me, which you'll see shortly here. And they actually have a, a big sign they made called The Split, which is essentially the end of the island. And uh, I just ate, but that sounds amazing. I might, I might anyway, just, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be coming back. Um, is that, is that lot? All right. All right. What you what do you got on the grill here? I'm I'm doing a YouTube video. Yeah, man, I like to be on YouTube. So 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 tell us tell us about tell us about K Cocker. And the, the food you got going on here. You got some fresh lobsters. Yeah, we got some fresh lobsters. You get two 
Lobster tails in your plate for 25 Belize. We also have barbecue chicken or jerk chicken for 12 Belize. Pork ribs or pork chops for 15 Belize. And any meat you choose, you get coconut rice and beans, green salad, and coleslaw with it. And, and Belize is like uh, Belize two style. Belize for every one American, right? So Yes. So, I mean, really it's half of that for, like, yeah. if you're paying an American. For lobster, yeah. yeah, so, yeah, so you can't beat that. You're getting a lobster for, for $12.50. Where can you get that? $10 Belize for a coconut with rum. Okay, so, okay. so a coconut with rum for, like, $5 American or $10 Belize. You can't beat it. I got a little bit of coconut with her. Then he's like, I'm like, I'm the Delta family. You can't beat it. You know, so when you come to Kikoko, you have to get a coconut. It's like a liquid vaccination. Okay, you check it out, man. And I'm right here. All right. All right. Watch your money, Kari. I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk, walk that way, but I'll be on my way back in, in a little bit. All right. So, here you got to hear from the locals a little bit. Where else can you get a lobster made fresh, right out of the water, on the grill? for about 12 bucks that includes all the sides. You can't beat that. There's a couple more right here. Steelers, we gotta go Raiders. Raider Nation, man. <laughs> I like the Steelers too, though. All right. Um, nah, I just got a Steeler jersey on. I'm a, I'm a Raider fan. Yeah, I should get some sympathy for that. We've had some rough years. We're hoping to turn it around. One of these years soon, we're going to make the playoffs. But All right, I want to get you at least to the split up here. And then I might turn this off and go enjoy some more Bellican beer. And, and maybe even though we just ate lunch, it's uh, going to be hard to turn down, uh, turn down lobster when you can get it for 12 bucks. We might have to make some more room in the belly for that. We are approaching the split. I'm gonna turn around so you can see the big sign and I'm gonna walk you all the way to the split. And again, that is where the hurricane that came by here a decade or so ago actually split the island here at Cape Cocker. And um, there's some really good swimming down here, which actually I'm gonna show you. Some people enjoying the water here now. You see that crystal clear water. There's the sign that says the split. And people out here enjoying the water. Beautiful crystal clear water. We've got little cafes and bars, fresh juices. The volleyball court. How can you beat this? We really can. It's just absolutely wonderful. Wonderful getting back out here cruising again. Swimming with sharks and stingrays and beautiful coral gardens. We got a lot of people here eating. That's nice to see. Rest down here at the end of the bar. Right into the island, I should say. And this is one of the more popular bars. People leaving the water down here. And walk you out the end of the pier so you can see the split. Somebody enjoying a swim. Dive off here. Come up and dive off there if you want. And this is the split. See some fish down there. And uh yeah, that's about it. You know, that's one of the more popular bars on the island, as you can see, quite a few people down here. And it's just a little taste of Kate Cocker. But we love coming here. We love when we have a little extra time to stop and enjoy Kate Cocker and walk around and have a couple beers and maybe a $12 lobster with all the sides right on the edge of the beach, fresh out of the water. Um, so again, I think I'm gonna head back down the road and see some of those people I told I'd be coming back, find one of those lobsters and find a nice cold pelican.
So coach is out. Wish you were here with us. It's amazing. And I hope to see you on a cruise soon.